this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video, I am being joined as always by Mr. Henry Snow Gollum. <laughs> I'm also being joined by Elfully. Have you two got in a fight? Are you two having a ruckus over here? What's going on? What's happening? Has he stole your cake? Has Henry stole your cake? <laughs> right, I'm going to turn around for five seconds. And Henry, you better have placed that cake down on the floor and given it back to Lee. Okay, two, one. There we go. Thank you, Henry. You do not steal cakes from Lee. That's my job. That's what I do at the start of every video. <laughs> I am also going to be joined by Amy Lee and Livy as well in this video. So we got Livy, Amy Lee, and Elva Lee. <laughs> Elva Lee, Amy Lee, 33, and Livy. There we go. That's the uh, the collection of people that uh, are going to be joining me in today's video. And I'm going to start off, as I always do, by heading over to my love garden. And I'm going to put down a few roses in front of this sign, which I'm adding today. And today, I am adding Brian. And I don't know their second name, but uh, there was a video sent to me of Brian, uh, who had actually made a story uh, about when I met the aliens and when I went inside of their UFO. And it was a really nice book. Uh, he drew it and he illustrated it and he read it to me. And uh, it just really reminded me of the, uh, the kind of things that I used to do when I was about his age. I used to uh, always be writing little stories and making little storybooks and yeah I just thought it was a, a really cool thing to be sent so yeah thank you Brian uh, for making that book for me and welcome to my love garden and if you want to see that video and it's full by the way uh, there'll be a link to it in the description if you want to uh, go and check it out uh, something else that I always do at the start of my videos is go and pick a dog and I've no idea who to pick today normally uh, in the back of my mind I have some sort of idea of which dog I'm gonna take with me and well I, I think Lee's chose one is that is that fluffy is that you're trying to pick is that who you want fluffy okay well fluffy is actually not, not even here fluffy's uh, over in the pet shop so uh, she only got put in the pet shop yesterday and uh, we're already gonna be going and taking her out again i did promise to her uh, that we would come and visit and say hello so i guess uh, taking her out in uh, today's video will be quite a nice thing for here uh, for her and then the first thing i'm gonna do before we do anything else is show you this Pick a pet pet shop, 100% completed. Uh, I changed the A slightly, I decided after the last video I didn't really like it. Uh, but yeah, this is what the uh, the pet shop looks like, and uh, I haven't really changed much since the last video. Um, the counter's slightly different, uh, I, I went for um, some wood instead and added a nice little seat down here. Uh, so yeah, I can sit uh, behind the till here and see absolutely nothing. Um, unfortunately, uh, we don't have any googlies seems to have spawned in the googlies goods, but uh, they do normally spawn quite regular, normally when I come down here uh, there's something in there but of course the second I start recording uh, they all go camera shy and I also added a bunch of signs you can see here the crazy cow center uh, delightful doggy domain um mushy mushroom moments, uh, silly sheep selection, uh, pretty pig pen, and clucking chicken collection. Oh look, we've got a bunch of eggs for them as well. Should we see if we can get any more? Can I, can I grab that egg there? Let's see if we can go and get ourselves a, a fourth chicken down here. Nope, wasn't to be, wasn't to be. Also, uh, as I did say at the end of the last video, I've added a, a bunch of chests, so there's some uh, some mushroom stew in there. I might actually eat some. I might uh, have some mushroom stew from this cow here. Uh, there's also, I think, milk, yeah, for that cow, and uh, the chicken's got seeds, and I think these guys got wheat. And I also died this um this sheep pink so uh, the the pig and sheep get along a little bit better now and I believe yeah Lee's added some some water into the squid tank squid's gone missing uh, squid's actually left the tank he left his new home he decided he didn't like it but um yeah there is some water in there and I just realized I was gonna take fluffy with, with me wasn't I here we go you can come join me fluffy and what we're gonna be doing uh, in this video is as I said going over to the fun land and uh, building another game over there and it's a whole new game uh, which I decided to make up and I'm gonna explain it to you uh, on the way um, I planned for a while uh, to make a capture the flag game and uh, what a capture the flag game is you basically have two bases and you've got to go to the other team's flag and you've got to capture it. You've basically got to go and uh, bring it back to your side. And uh, I decided to have a twist on that. And instead of uh, capture the flag, I decided to have capture the flower, which I thought was just a little bit nicer and a little bit uh, more suitable for Stampy's lovely world. So uh, the idea is we're going to have a game where there's going to be two teams, a love love team, which is the red team, and a sun kiss team, which is the uh, yellow team. And uh, they both spawn inside of massive plant pots, uh, which will have a massive version of the flower above them. And you've got to run around the map uh, trying to capture as many flowers as you can and uh, bring them back to your base. 
and uh, whoever gets all of the uh, the flower uh, flowers first win. Uh, but the twist is everyone's going to have wooden swords and bows and arrows, so uh, you can either spend your time trying to capture uh, all of the other team's flowers, or you can be going around trying to stop them capturing flowers. And uh, it can either be played one v one or two v two or three v three or four v four, which would be uh, quite crazy and frantic, but uh, also probably jolly good fun. So this is the arena. I kind of uh, marked this out earlier just so uh, I'd have a rough idea for the size. So I think this is, I can't remember off the top of my head, I think it's about 50 length and I think about 43 wide, uh, something along those lines. So if you do want to try building this yourself, uh, then you can do it. And uh, the actual theme of the uh, the ride, well, the, the mini game, I suppose, uh, is going to be very similar to the um, the Magic Garden Hunger Games. I don't know if you've seen me play that, but that's basically a uh, Hunger Games map, uh, which I built with a bunch of my friends. And uh, this is going to be very similar to that. So what I'm going to do, uh, rather than having all of this grass down here, uh, we're going to make it look like a lawn. And so it's going to basically alternate between uh, light green and dark green uh, across this whole area and uh, it should just make it look pretty cool and then I'm going to start building one of the uh, the, the um, flower pots and so the way it's going to work is there's going to be each person spawning in the flower pot and there's going to be beds in there so like if you sleep uh, when you die you're going to spawn back in that room and so like once you're once you're killed by the other team like uh, you can just come straight back in and so that that's how it's going to be and yeah it should just be pretty good fun and there's going to be chests inside the spawns and what's these two random pistons down here <laughs> I think they might have been from when I was trying to uh, work out the size before and I was trying to uh, do the mechanism because that's something else I'm going to have to do I'm going to have to uh, at some point uh, do some redstone so I'm just going to uh, warn you now that that is going to be coming up at some point uh, it's just basically going to be quite simple just like a, a, a starting mechanism so both teams start at the same time uh, 43 by 50 there we go did I actually get it right there we go check me out and my uh, amazing memory <laughs> so yeah let's start putting down some of the lawn here and uh, once there's enough I'm going to go and switch over and start trying to do uh, some of the other uh, plant pot and I've got a whole load of materials over here like behind the um the, uh, the sheep shearing game over there is a whole load of um, uh, just sheep all just dyed different colours. And so like all of the other uh, colours we need are over there. So if anyone runs out of wool or anything, uh, if you head over there, then you can just go and shear a bunch more. So um, yeah, all this is going to be is alternating between light green and dark green. And I got a bit here, uh, but nowhere near enough to fill it all in. So uh, I'm going to make a start. Uh, and then yeah, after that, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go and maybe shear some more sheep or something. Uh, I think there might actually be a chest over there uh, with a bunch in. So uh, if you guys go over there and you find some more green wool, then we can go do that. So it's gonna be four light green and then four dark green the whole way across. And that way it just looks like a, a freshly mowed lawn just across here. It just looks a bit nicer. And also, uh, when you have grass, like animals can all just randomly spawn on it. And as funny as that might seem, like uh, if you're trying to play the game and you've got a load of cows and stuff getting in your way, then um, yeah, that might be a little bit annoying while you're playing. <laughs> and it looks like Amy Lee's actually lagged out the game. Hopefully uh, people will be able to invite her back in so she can uh, carry on helping out. And uh, I did actually do uh, a little bit of a tester. Uh, while I was uh, coming up with this game and working out uh, what all of the other uh, rules are going to be, uh, I built in just a, uh, a super flat world, like a kind of rough version. And it looked awful, like I built the entire thing out of cobblestone and it was a, a very messy version. Uh, but it, it kind of worked. We had a few tester games and even though like it, it wasn't properly built, it, it was still pretty good fun. So um, yeah, hopefully this one is going to be a, a lot better than that version. That's the plan anyway. And uh, one of the other uh, cool twists about the game which sort of uh, does make it different to capture the flag is the uh, the fact you're allowed to uh, pick up your own flowers as well and so like once it opens you can either go around just trying to get as many of their flowers as you can or if you pick up your own color flowers that means that the other team has to go after you in order to get them all because the only way you win is by getting them all like there's no time limit it's not like who's got the most flowers at the end of the time it's a uh, first person to get all of the flowers and uh, I think there's going to be six scattered around the map there's going to be two uh, in each person's base and uh, then uh, another four just sort of spread around the map and there's going to be like little towers and stuff and I'm going to fill it full of loads of different flowers of all different colors and uh, it should just look like a really cool game and hopefully 
uh, be good fun to play. I'm just a little bit worried about uh, how long this is going to take because, yeah, I've been doing this for quite a while and I've only just done uh, about two stripes. So what I think I'm going to do, uh, once I've finished this green stripe here, uh, I'm going to start doing some work on the uh, on the plant pot. That way uh, I can hopefully get that done. So all it's going to be uh, is one big massive plant pot. Uh, there's going to be dirt on the top, which is where you uh, are going to put the, the flowers down to win. Uh, then I need to do some sort of redstone mechanism, which uh, uh, might take a little while. And uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much uh, all it's going to be. And then in the next video, uh, I'm going to be sort of carrying on building the, the main part of the game. And uh, I'm not entirely sure what the layout's going to be or uh, what materials I'm going to use. But I just guess I'm going to make it up as I go along. That's always uh, the most fun way to build. Right, so I'm going to have the, the plant pot here. And uh, the base of it uh, is going to be 6 by 6 So I kind of need to uh, work out where about the middle is. I think it's about here. So if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Does that look about in the middle? Uh, maybe like this I think looks a little bit more central. Let me just check because otherwise I know I'm going to get it wrong. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... And uh, let me just go check on the other side, see if this should be 9 as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Jolly good. Check that out. Check out how easily I can tell that. And what I'm very quickly going to do is craft a whole load of beds. And if we all very quickly sleep now, uh, then hopefully uh, we'll be able to get a, a, a good night without all of the googly spawning. So if I just go and put uh, all of these down here, uh, hopefully we can all have a quick nap. And if we're very quick, uh, we should get away with being able to sleep out here on the lawn. <laughs> we're all going to go and sleep outside. We're all going to be rebellious. We're not going to... Uh, go to the safety of inside. Is it going to work? Please work. Please work without a creeper spawning next to us. I think we might get away. There we go. We managed to get away with it. <laughs> we had a nice little a nice little camp out outside for once rather than all going inside. <laughs> yeah, so um, this is going to be six by six around each side. And then it's going to go up relatively tall as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Is this right? Uh, no, that's not right. This needs to be like... Uh, is this right? Is this is this in the middle? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, that, that's seven along. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I think I think this goes out uh, too far here. Oh, I think this is how it's supposed to be actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, then I think this one's supposed to go uh, along like that. There we go. Because it, it's going to be like sort of uh, plant pot shaped, you know. It's not like a, a perfect cube. And I really wish that they had added the uh, the plant pots to the, the Xbox version of the game. Because that would have been absolutely awesome. Like in PC, you can actually get like little plant pots. Uh, which are like absolutely tiny. And you can put flowers in them. And they look really awesome. And I wish they were uh, actually in the game. Right? Is this, is this right? I think this might be just about right. So we've got one, two, three four, five. So yeah, there we go. I think this is about perfect. So I'm just going to build this up uh, relatively high. And the way it's going to work is when you start the game, there's going to be a doorway at the front, uh, which is going to open anyway. And there's also going to be a block that's going to get pushed up from the ground uh, that allows you to climb a ladder. And there's going to be a ladder on this back wall here. So uh, you can either go out the front or out the top. And uh, the reason for that is to stop people just sort of like standing around the corner here with their sword ready. So the second you leave, they can go and get you. You know, there's like there's two ways for you to leave. So if someone has been a meanie spawn camper, then you can uh, sort of sneak out the top and surprise them from above. And as I said, we did do the little test and it is really good fun playing the game. So like I'm really determined to build this really quick just so I can play it. Like I think a lot of you will enjoy watching me play it. And I'm probably going to do uh, maybe like a full video, like just playing it, maybe have a little mini tournament of it. And I need to come up with a name as well. Like, I don't want to call it Capture the Flower. I might call it, like, um, Pick the Flowers or something along those lines. Uh, I think, as always, I'm going to leave it open to suggestions. So if you do have uh, any ideas for, uh, like, names for the game, uh, leave them as a comment down below. And I always go and try and read through as many as I can to, to get inspiration from you. <laughs> People are always asking me about, like, the ideas that I come up with and stuff. But to be honest, like, it's a collaborative progress. You know, I've got a lot of friends and helpers and, uh, of course, all of you suggesting things. And that, uh, that makes it a whole lot easier trying to come up with all of these uh, mini games. And I think about uh, this height would be just about perfect, uh, which is good because I am very quickly running out of wool already. And I got uh, another one to go and build on the other side. And look at the progress that they're uh, making. It looks really good. You see what I mean about uh, having it looking like a, uh, a massive lawn across there. I think it does look uh, pretty stylish, if I may say so myself. And uh, the boundary... The wall around the outside uh, is going to be a mixture between a uh, coloured wall and glass. And so it's going to be, um, yeah, like glass along uh, like most of it with like coloured wall. I think it's going to be like, 
uh, red wool glass glass red wool glass glass red wool glass glass and then uh, the same on the other side but of course yellow so it's like uh, love loves team against a uh, sun kiss team so uh, that way like no matter where you are you can like very easily see uh, like which side is your side and which side is their side otherwise you might get uh, a bit confused and start trying to run into the other team's base and stuff so uh, I've almost finished this uh, plant pot uh, I can see that Amy's put down a sign and is desperately trying to get my attention to come and read it and I'll be with you in just one second uh, like once I started doing this I know that if I get distracted and look at something else I'm going to come back here and completely forget what it is I was doing uh, but there we go this is this is my plant pot complete so uh, I of course need to do a, a massive flower so I know it's not complete I need to do this last final wall along here it's really difficult because it's like right at the the very limit of what i can reach and i think i may have just run out of brown wool do i have any more in here and oh, no, i've got oh no there we go i've got a whole nother stack of it in there <laughs> like i love the fact that you can shear sheep in this game now and they grow their wool back because like when i started playing the game the way you had to get walls you'd go around just punching sheep and then that would be it that would be all of the wool that they gave and it's so easy now just to to get loads of wool on mass it makes it so much easier but there we go that that's the uh, the first plant pot and what does this sign here say uh, the War of Roses. Oh, that's a good name, actually. It sounds like a sort of like an epic battle, you know, like an old knight's battling the War of Roses. The only thing is that, like, only one of them is a rose. Like, I don't know if it's fair on the sun kiss side. I know you are the big supporter of the roses. I know you are pretty much the team captain of Team Love Love and you bring me Love Love Petals at the beginning of every video. But yeah, I think, I think that's quite a good suggestion, you know, or, like maybe even like hippie battle you know i always go for hippie power when i uh, fight with a sword i think something along those lines would be quite cool and uh, what i can actually do is uh, gather up a few of these beds and uh, i can actually use these inside which would be quite handy so i'm going to do the floor the uh, the same as the um yeah, the same as the, the, the side of the uh, plant pot, just so it's all like brown inside here. And yeah, I need to just put down a few beds, uh, put down some chests. I might actually put some cake in here as well. One, because I put cake everywhere. And two, uh, that way, like when you're waiting to start the game, you can have uh, all of your hunger completely up. But there's going to be no food actually in the arena. Uh, that way, like, they should keep the game quite fast-paced, you know? Like, if someone's just camping for ages and uh, trying to stay alive, then, uh, yeah, they're just going to be getting a very rumbly tummy and getting very hungry, so that won't be uh, very useful at all. And so, yeah, hopefully you are going to uh, enjoy seeing us play this game, and uh, please do do any variants you want. Like, I think the overall concept uh, is going to work quite well, but there's so many, like, different ways you could do it and different layouts you could have. I'd love to see uh, any of the, uh, the ideas that you guys come up with. And so I think I'm going to do... Uh, how shall I lay this out? If I have like a bed there and a bed... Actually, if I do... A, if I have the chest here, so I have a bed there and a bed uh, there. Actually, I think I just have both beds next to each other. And then if I do the same on the other side here, and I'm going to have to very quickly make a, a crafting table. Uh, I just plonk that in here for now, so I've got it with me. And then I just need to make... Uh, I think I just do two double chests. And these can go here. So I'm going to have one chest full of bows and arrows and uh, another chest full of just wooden swords. And then here I'm going to have, I'm going to have pistons underneath there, kind of where they were earlier. I just basically uh, got to put these back down from when I was working it out. And uh, yeah, put these down there. And so these are going to be lifted up. So once those pistons are extended, you're basically blocked. So you can see out, uh, but you can't look out. And so, like, once the game starts, that will drop down and then you can run out into the battlefield. And then here is where I'm going to have my ladders. So if I just make a, a whole load of sticks and then I can make a whole bunch of ladders. And uh, this is going to be the way you get up the back. Uh, but they need to be quite high up. So I'm going to do... Uh, I do just double ones just because I'm awful with ladders and always fall off. And I think they need to be like that height. And so there's going to be two blocks that get extended there that allow you to climb up. And I think they're going to be lower than that. You can't even jump up there. Can you get up there? There we go. So if these were down, uh, you wouldn't be able to get on the ladders. And so there's going to be two blocks that get pushed up there. So you're able to jump up. And then in the corners over here is going to be the most important things. Uh, there's going to be cakes there. I'm just going to put down bread now to represent uh, where the cakes are going to be. And so, yeah, I'm going to have a start on uh, some of the redstone just to, to give you an idea how it's going to be. Uh, do I have any iron on me, actually? Uh, it would be good if I could make myself a thinking cap just because then I'll be able to work it out a bit better. I don't seem to have any on me. It doesn't matter, though. So, yeah, I'm going to leave these pistons down here. And, uh, yeah, I need to do some two pistons down here as well. And so these can be... They need to be on... I think they need to be one level down, actually, don't they? And so normally it will be like this. And then when they get extended, you'll be able to go up. Uh, so if I just make a, a quick 
a redstone torch now. I can just go and test it out just to see if it is actually going to work. And uh, how do I make redstone torches? Here we go. I can make two redstone torches. So this is what it'd be like by default. There'd be a little lever on the wall down here somewhere. And then when you pull it, uh, these two pistons should get extended. There we go. So imagine both of them just got extended. Then you can jump on the block and get up. And uh, yeah, I, I think this will be pretty cool. I think this this almost works perfectly. And so the last thing I need to do is uh, make my way up to the top. And then I just need to cover it with dirt. And uh, the dirt actually needs to be on the very top layer. Uh, because what you do to win is you're going to put all of your flowers in a row along the front up here. And uh, then that way everyone can see. And I might actually add a button or something. Uh, so once you win, if you press the button, it might maybe like play a song or uh, have a light come up with like a redstone lantern or something. You know, just to uh, light up the entire area and just sort of let everyone know that you won. Otherwise, the other team might be still running around desperately uh, trying to pick the flowers. And you've, I don't know, gone to Stumpy's Hot Buns for a cake because you think the game's over. <laughs> so yeah, in the next video, I'm going to start building the, uh, the big lovely jubbly love love petals, uh, which is going to be coming out the top of this side. And uh, then on the other side over there, I'm going to be doing the same. And I've just realised, why have I done that side blue? That side needs to be yellow, doesn't it? Because that's going to be all sun-kissed. I've spent ages going around shearing a loads of blue sheep for a waste of time. There's no point for it. <laughs> oh, well, but look how good my Minecraft helpers have done. They've done the entire lawn. <laughs> this looks absolutely amazing. I love the way there's one patch just not done there where my sign was. <laughs> you guys did way better than me. Right, what I'm going to do for now then... Uh, just just for now, I'm just going to go and put down a little lovely jubbly love love petals just to just to mark where it's going to be once I've finished. <laughs> we actually did manage to make some some pretty good progress. My Minecraft helpers did better than me, but uh, at least I didn't waste an entire video like I normally did. There we go. So imagine that about 20 times bigger and uh, you got a good idea what the place is going to look like. <laughs> Sadly though, we have just about run out of time in this video. So once again, uh, thank you to all of my Minecraft helpers for being so amazing and helping as you always do. A uh, big thank you to you. Uh, for watching. A uh, big thank you to Fluffy for sticking with me and uh, staying safe uh, throughout the entire video. And uh, thank you for Henry uh, for giving me a nice amusing start to the video. And thank you to anyone else that is involved in this video. And most importantly, of course, thank you very much for you uh, for spending the last 20 minutes of your life enjoying uh, some time inside of my lovely world. And I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye!